All right, boys and girls, if you decided to do pizza, and I would definitely do marker on the, the cheese and the pepperoni. Now for the cheese, you can either do yellow or orange, it's up to you. If you do the cheese yellow, I'm gonna suggest that you color in the yellow first. And again, I'm using my hand to hold this still. Because if you do the pepperoni in red first, it's going to bleed. So I'm outlining the area, I'm coloring it nice and dark, no white spots. And I already decided in my head, again, you have to plan this out, that the crust, I'm gonna use that, I'm going to use oil pastel. So if you wanna do a combination of oil pastels and marker for your pizza or whatever design it is that you did. So again, I'm rotating the paper to get around to the areas that I need to get to making sure there aren't any white spots, using the wide side of the marker. And I think that's good. I'm gonna snap the cap on. I'm gonna use the Mr. Sketch marker for the red, because that's what I have here. And I'm going to outline the shape neatly. With all of your drawings, you wanna work from the inside out. The inside out. You want to make sure that because when we do the background, most most of us are going to be using. We're actually we're all going to be using the oil pastels to color in the background markers for the inside. Some of us might use some oil pastel for the drawing. All right, and there we have that part of the pizza. Now, for the crust of the pizza, you can either use a marker or you can use an oil pastel. I, I would say, depending on if you have the color or not, this peach color can actually work for the crust. It's a little bit bright. We'll see how it works. If you, I'm gonna use it for both the side and the top. Now to me, it seems like I need a little bit brown on here. So I just wanna show you, if you wanna do it, if you wanna darken it, the marker is gonna be too dark. You can't blend with markers. What's fun about oil pastels, it's a little too orangey, is we can actually take a little bit of brown here, color on top of it, and then use a finger to do some blending. Just to add a little bit of texture. I'm gonna add some oil pastels on top of it. Because crust is never really a solid color. So I would add the peach oil pastel on top. And then some of the brown. And you don't wanna spread this out. This, if you have oil pastels, you wanna kinda of do that with it. Use a, a clean finger and blend. to kind of give it that brownish feel.
And you want to make sure that you blend in a circular motion back and forth. And that looks like a better piece of crust. So I'm going to actually make the side a little bit darker. In fact, I think I'm going to make the top a little bit darker, too. So in the end, the oil pastels work better for the crust. You don't want to use markers for the crust. All right, so there we have our pizza. So for the background, and uh, you want to make sure that you clean your fingers in between. For the background, I'm going to use green. I think green will be a nice, you want to have your warm colors and a cool color here. So I'm actually going to, for your background, you want to use oil pastels because we're using a large area. I'm going to use my, a finger that's clean. You're going to use a large area. Anytime you have a large area, we want to blend it. The marker is not as better for the smaller, harder to reach areas. So I'm gonna color it and blend, color it and blend. And if you even wanna try adding some darker green to it, kind of make a, a lighter, a darker green, you can do that as well. You have to make sure that you blend evenly. And I would do all of the, the light green first and then add some green in later on. So I'm still gonna use that one finger. If your fingers are clean, that's one thing. Also, you might wanna consider What I'm going to do here is use, take this off. And add a little green up here. Well, if you want to, you can use a solid color, but if you want to try blending the colors, you can do that too. So now, you don't want to color the whole thing and blend. First, you want to color. You can add a little bit of green on top and then you can blend. Or you can blend and then add the color after. What's so nice is that it has a really nice texture to it, nice and velvety. I'm gonna just color the whole thing here. You wanna try to color. Oops, it broke, that's fine. Actually makes it a little bit easier to color. You don't wanna have any white spots. You want to blend in the same direction. Try to make sure that you have your clean hand on top of the middle. And there you have your pizza.